Hey everyone, hi, how are you? So, um, uh, yesterday's challenge was meest um, because I had the um, uh, privilege of doing many readings yesterday and my, <clears throat> my voice might be going out a little bit. And um, one of my readings ended up being a two hour reading. So that was great. Um, but it did take a whole lot out of me and I'm still trying to recover from yesterday um, and I'm just so 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 very grateful um, I can't even tell you how grateful I am that I got to do all those readings yesterday uh, so um, I just really appreciate your patience so today uh, the reading is going to be very quick because um, I am so drained uh, and I'm going to go rest. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. So for today's challenge, for those of you who have not watched the challenges, that's fine. If you still feel drawn to just want to watch this particular reading to do the pick a card, to, the pick a decks, um, to choose which decks you feel most drawn to, to find out how you can connect more with the magical side or your magic within yourself, then you don't have to watch all of the challenges. But if you do want to watch all of the other challenges, then you can start at day one and then go from there. <clears throat> so sorry, you guys. Let me get a sip of water. Okay, so I'm going to um, give you guys a second to look at these. So we're going to do these two decks together. This is an oracle deck. We're going to clarify with um, the this tarot deck. And then we have this uh, oracle deck, and we're going to clarify with this tarot deck. This is unicorns. Um, this is the Oracle of the Unicorn, and this is the Believe in Your Own Magic, and they just both really felt like very magical decks that I wanted to use. <coughs> so sorry. And then this is the Cozy Witch Tarot deck, and this is the Good Karma Tarot deck um, that we will be using with this to clarify. So if you guys want to take a moment while I use the singing bowl to connect with spirit. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I'm so sorry for all the coughing, you guys, and the clearing of my throat. Um, so I'm gonna use the singing bowl to clear out the energy for myself and yourself, and then call in spirit so that we can get some messages for you guys um, and on how or what you need to know about connecting with your magical self within, your magic within. And you can go ahead and just take a moment to envision a healing light surrounding you full of unconditional love. <clears throat> Breathe that light in and then exhale any stale, stagnant, unwanted energy out into the cosmos where it can no longer harm anyone. Thank you, Divine Source Energy, Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you, Angels, Archangels, Ascendant Masters, Ancestors, Spirit Guides. Thank you, Higher Light Beings. Thank you, Benevolent Galactic Ancestors and Benevolent Galactic Guides. I call on you now and invite you here into this sacred space to help me grasp messages and answers that need to be delivered to the collective of souls that find their way here. I thank you for guiding, <clears throat> blessing, protecting this reading, myself and the collective. I thank you for honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages that come only from the divine, that are only of the highest good and to the harm of none, with peace, love, light, and so much gratitude. So it is. Namaste. Okay. And I still haven't had a chance to do my nails yet. <laughs> okay. Um, I also forgot to mention, for those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Winter, and I am claircognizant, clairvoyant, clairsentient, clairaudient, and I'm also an intuitive empath. And I've spent many years studying tarot and 
uh, still continue to study and learn and grow and evolve. And I use my gifts and abilities as well as the knowledge that I've gained of the cards to channel messages from spirit for you. So if you're here and you and you felt drawn here, it's for a reason. There's no coincidences. <clears throat> so we are going to start with this deck over here for those of you who chose this deck and you can choose both if you feel drawn to both then there could be a message in both so i'm going to pull one card out of each deck as to not um, make this too long um, because i just want to make sure that the reading is completely accurate for you so i would rather have a short accurate message than a longer um, message that may not be as accurate if it was shorter because I am feeling that, you know, drained. But I wanted to make sure to be here for you guys to spread messages that need to be delivered. So, <clears throat> thank you. The number six keeps showing up. So you guys may be seeing sixes. You could, um, six could be relevant to you in some form or fashion. Um, it, you, uh, this is also too, sixes can represent harmony, um, balance, making adjustments, um, adjustments being required. So you may be, um, you know, needing to kind of like, um, adapting to change as well as something that I'm getting that's going to help you really be able to connect more with your, um, the magic that's within yourself, making adjustments after some changes or just kind of going with the flow in general and just, you know, being able to adapt. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing that improvise, adapt, and overcome, you know, like the, what is it? Is it the Marines that say that? Improvise, adapt, and overcome. I know that's what they taught us in healthcare too. Um, you know, uh, I was a CNA for many years. So it's like when you're working with, with patients, you need to improvise, adapt, and then overcome. <laughs> okay, Spirit, show me clearly what I need to see for the collective that chose this group for their um, message on how they can connect with their magic. You guys got card number 28, which is um, would reduce to a 10. So this is protesting. Um, bottom of the deck is tower and it says unplug and relax for a spell. So one of the things that you're needing to do is like unplug from from the world, you know, um, <clears throat> maybe even like detaching yourself from gossip um, or like other people like complain, complaints. Um, stop and smell the roses is something else that I'm picking up. Uh, the number three may be significant. You could be seeing threes. Also, um, like 311, somebody's birthday may be on 311. Um, um, really tapping in, into your passions, um, getting out of your head, into your heart, allowing your passions um, to <clears throat> soar. It's like not overthinking it. Uh, I'm hearing the word, oh. I just dropped something. I don't know what it was. Um, allowing your passions to soar. Also, tens are um, a number. Of, it's like it does represent like the end of a karmic situation. The um, end the or the like the end of a cycle. So like ending cycles for some of you. Um, maybe even. Uh, <sighs> you may be feeling um, like the need to like take a stand in some area of your life. It's like as you take a stand, put your foot down, because it, uh, it says protest, start a revolution. You guys are chosen to really start those revolutions. I'm starting, like as I'm channeling, I'm starting to get my energy back up. But you are here to like, um, to, protest to speak against injustices so as you really take a stand and and, and you're going to be able to create change um can i'm um, also too this is card number three and you see here we've got these three people here um the three of cups represents um your um 
like your soul t tribe. So I do feel like um, as it's like you you are connecting more with your soul tribe or you will be connecting with your soul tribe. This is about also like you standing up for yourself and the more you stand up for yourself, the more you're going to be able to connect more with your magic, speaking up for yourself and speaking up for others, being that voice of um, unfairness, uh, um, injustices. Um, uh, I, I'm hearing that that old country song where it says, "You've got to stand for something, or you'll fall for anything." You guys know what I'm talking about? It's an old country song. Um, I know my parents used to listen to it when I was real young. Um, maybe even like sharing your um, experiences with others of when you yourself have dealt with like injustices fighting against um, the powers that be and also too I was getting like that ace of wands energy so it's like maybe you need to be the first spark it's of your own revolution so like educating yourself um educating yourself against like what's going like what's really going on in the world something wrong with the world today i don't know what it is dun, 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 dun. you guys know what i'm talking about is it guns and roses song okay show me clearly what i need to see could be some water energy to some of you. There's a need to be like, like I'm seeing someone being focused, driven, ready to like, um, <clears throat> I'm hearing, we didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. Like I'm seeing someone getting pumped up listening to that song, ready to go, you know, fight the man. Fight the power. So the Queen of Swords just flew out of my deck just like this. Flew right out of my deck. You know, and it's in the reverse. And this is like, um, pretty much like advice. And um, the card says, don't you dare lower your voice for anyone. But it like landed like this. So I feel like some of you have felt silenced by the world. So don't you dare lower your voice for anyone. Don't you dare let anyone knock you down or make you feel like you're not important or what you have to say isn't important. Like you are so, and maybe you felt like, well, what is my voice going to do? What can I do? Maybe... If each person thought that, then there no, would be nobody there to protest. But your voice is important. Your voice is significant. And all of their voices together are extremely powerful. So one of the things that you need to do is find your voice. Find your voice and speak up for yourself. Even if it's just the people in your everyday life. Say, no, that's not fair. You don't get to treat me that way. Even if you, even if you stand alone, it, you know, like she's here by herself. So maybe you might have to stand alone, but sometimes to do the right thing, you have to stand alone. Okay, guys, that's what I have for that first pile. Let's move on to the second pile. So listening to your intuition Nurturing your inner child. Um, uh, going back to magic, the the things that you believed in before the world made you stop believing in magic or 
doubted magic. Going back to talking to trees and, and, and nature spirits and fairies and magical beings of all kinds and talking to them through your own intuition, communicating. Showing clearly what do they need to know about connecting with the magic within them. Spirit, those that chose this pile. expansion so um, it, it, it's about um, so we have balance again um, all groups need time to relax taking time to relax and I totally uh, relate to that because this is the card that was on the bottom of the deck and it says unplug and relax for a spell and right here on the balance card it's saying take time to relax so, and balance. So some of you could be like overindulging in some areas as well, like either overindulging or underindulging. Um, you know, so like you may be uh, needing to like set boundaries at work or, or um, you know, some sort of change, like um, uh, evolving, changing, growing, expanding. Show the world what you're made of share your message shine your light spread your wings and soar so tapping into that magic you're going to see the awe and the wonder of yourself and and how truly significant and magical you really are by allowing your light to shine i want to look at the book too Allowing your light to shine, allowing yourself to rise above the bullshit, the everyday bullshit, you know, um, because you see here, hold on, hold on just a second, I'm not trying to, f okay, you see here, I got the page I was looking for, you see here the the unicorn is flying up above those cloudy days. So allowing yourself to soar up above like um, tumultuous situations or drama. Allowing, um, it says you are brilliant. You are brilliant, talented, and it is now time to soar into success. So um, also too, by you tapping into your magic and seeing the magic within yourself, it's going to bring about success. And as you start to have more success in your life, because you are, you're going to start to see and believe more in magic. So it's like this um, cycle, but, but instead it's like, in, it's not a vicious cycle, but a beautiful, you know, um, magical cycle. So it's like you're having success and believing in magic and as you believe in magic you're going to have more and more success and it's uh it's beautiful and so like you do have so much to share with the world and this is about like so having courage to to do the things that maybe you would normally be scared to do because it is scary to like to fly you know up in the sky like that I'm hearing Reading Rainbow for some reason right now. I'm hearing that song, Reading Rainbow. So that could be, um, take a look. It's in a book, Reading Rainbow. I don't know how, to, I don't even know how to sing, but that, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, so like, um, do something that that really stretches you out of your comfort zone and um, pushes you or like guides you. It, it's pulling you actually. As you step out of your comfort zone, there's this energy that's really pulling you to um, or into your potential. And so like maybe it might feel very unpleasant, very, um, uh, I wanna say, I, dis, I want to say discomfortable, uncomfortable. So it may feel like, uh, you know, uh, uh, discomfort, 
and uncomfortable that's right okay so it may be a little uncomfortable at first or maybe experiencing some sort of discomforts at first but you're going to adjust <laughs> you'll adjust to feeling successful feeling magical you know not allowing the world to clip your wings because maybe at some point you you did feel as though the world had clipped your wings so i'm seeing maleficent oh my god when a maleficent had her wings clipped and that cry that outpouring of emotion that deep wailing cry that was heard throughout the land because something so magnificent to her, something so beautiful to her, a part of her was ripped away from her by someone that she trusted. So maybe that's what's happened to you before. And so it is scary to kind of get back out there and to live your life, but stay true to yourself, not shrinking yourself because of these fears that, that, that you have. You know, letting those fears of what if this happens again or what if that happens again, you know, leaving that behind. Showing, you know, the world what you're made of. And then that is going to then show the, the, the other unicorns, the other beautiful um, people in your life, the other magical people in your life that they too can do that that they can come out and do that too because you are here for greatness you are and it and it is time for you to show the world your magic the magic within yourself it's time to let that be revealed show me clearly can you give me another part here yeah because i definitely see like there's some things that's happened in the past stop living in the past finding your potential seeing how truly great and wonderful you are using your magic wand which is the skill and the talent within yourself to make look the skill and the talent within yourself to make stuff happen look at that stop looking to the past because that doesn't exist it just doesn't Get one more card here to clarify, please. The expansion. Look, yes, see, look, the world showing the world the real you, getting out there and showing the world what you're made of, going, being adventurous, being fearless. Because the Knight of Wands is fearless. Like, he just goes out there and does it. You know, finding your place in the world. Showing off your skills, your talent. You know, I'm hearing, hey, Ma, look, no hands. You know, like, having the wonder and the magic of a child. Embracing that innocence. As if, like, nothing, no pain ever happened being pure hearted and that's how you're going to feel more magical and this is what i have for you guys i hope that you um you um could really feel your spirit teams talking to you and communicating with you through this mess this this message messages um <laughs> i'm so sorry for crying but it just it was just they both of these were really beautiful messages and I could feel your spirit teams communicating with you so it was just so beautiful and I'm so honored I'm so honored to be a part of this and you know so maybe my heart chakra is like really wide open right now so I might need to balance it out but uh I'm so honored to again and I love you all so so very much <clears throat> I'm going to um, let you guys go and I appreciate each and every single one of you and I will be back tomorrow I'm, uh, and I'm going to also the winner uh, of the uh, free 15 minute reading I'm going to announce that uh, I'm going to put it in the community um, section 
of this channel uh, so you guys can check that out later today but I will have that up um, uh, shortly as soon as possible but I need to take a nap first I'm going to rest um, so you guys check back out this evening for the winner of the free 15-minute reading and the divine in me bows to the divine in you namaste